Jesus said in Matthew 6, 30, 31, Wherefore, if God so clothe the grass of the field, which today is and tomorrow is cast into the oven, shall he not much more clothe you, O ye of little faith? Therefore take no thought, saying, What shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or wherewithal shall we be clothed? The Holy Bible. The grass of the field, or in this context, Christ was referring to the lily of the field, as given in the previous verse, though they be so gloriously clothed, it lasts only for a few weeks, then it's cast into the oven as fuel for the fire by man. But man who is made in the image of God is destined for eternity. If God clothes the lower creation with glory which lasts for a few days or weeks, will not God clothe us more gloriously with what we really need? In these verses here and the preceding verses, Christ rebukes both the rich and the poor, the rich for their vain luxuries in dressing and chasing of endless vanities, and the poor for their faithlessness to trust God to provide their basic needs. These three inquiries of what to eat and what to drink and what to wear engross the minds of those living without God in the world. These are like the three temptations that keep coming at us, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life. But a child of God will trust God to provide their every need, but not their greed. Let's read again what Jesus said in Matthew 6, 30, 31. Wherefore, if God so clothe the grass of the field, which today is and tomorrow is cast into the oven, shall he not much more clothe you, O ye of, of little faith? Therefore, take no thought, saying, What shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or wherewithal shall we be clothed? Let's pray. Dear Father, help us not to take thought or worry about the needs of life, because God has promised to provide. In Jesus' name, Amen. Have faith that's not little, otherwise life will be brittle. Have a happy day.